If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Man, look, I'm, <laughs> bro, we pathetic, bro. I'm talking about, man, like we just, and when I say we, I'm talking about me too, y'all. Like, I'm, bro, we pathetic. I'm talking about, man, like we, we are in love with conflict. We are in love with chaos, confusion, destruction. We love it. We crave it. And then we get upset when we can't see it. Here it is. We got this brother, J. Cole, and we got this brother here, uh, Kendrick Lamar, almost about to start what we call a rap beef. But J. Cole, oh my God, man. God bless that brother. Did one of the coldest and profoundest moves I ever seen in hip hop or I ever seen in street politics ever. Because these are the things that men just don't do, right? Men don't apologize. Men can't be sympathetic or empathetic. If somebody trying to challenge you, you got to challenge them back the best way. Not only that, you even go harder because this is what the society has been telling us and teaching us ever since we was little boys. But what this brother right here just did to me, in my own view, broke the mold. Check it out. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Right? Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because... One, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I wanna say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep. And then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. 
So all of that to say, man, I wanna, I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I wanna do that for y'all right now. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kendrick Lamar came out with a song on Metro Boomin's uh, album mixtape. And I'm talking about, man, he said some stuff on there that didn't sit well with J. Cole and uh, Drake. He said, you know, other words, you know, F them, it's all about me. I'm the king, right? It said a few other cho choice words, right? So J. Cole came back and responded. This is hip hop. He came back with a seven minute drill where he talked about Kendrick Lamar's uh, a catalog and I'm talking about like disrespecting him. This is hip hop, right? But we gotta understand something, right? This is not battle. This right here is, is how the beefs start. And I think a lot of people are getting that confused. When you dealing with battle rap, here's a guy sitting here and you sitting there and y'all understand that, look, we finna talk low down and dirty about each other because we're battling. I'm finna talk about your mama, your girlfriend, your child. I'm finna dog you out and you finna try to dog me out because this is battle rap and everybody go home after that, right? There's a difference. But when there's a hip hop beef, it don't, everybody don't go home from the hip hop beef. It's not battle rap, it's something different. Everybody does not go home from hip hop beef. Do y'all know how many people would be alive right now today if they would have just been themselves and not been the person that the environment wanted them to be and not been the person that the gang wanted them to be, that drug dealers wanted them to be, that pimps and hoes wanted them to be. If they would have just stood firm and just been themselves, do y'all know how many people would be alive? How many people wouldn't be spending time in jail if they would just been themselves? Damn, you know what, bro? I, I, I did join the gang and y'all beat me up and got me in this gang. and I, I got shot at five times. I don't think I really like this. I don't think I like being in this gang, man. I can't drive my nice, pretty car. These other guys are shooting up my car all the time. I can't go nowhere because everywhere I go, there's a different gang, and I got to represent this gang. I, I, I don't really like this. I want to go back to the old me. I want to be the person where I can do what I want to do, go where I want to go, go where I want to go without having to go through all this. I, and then y'all want me to kill people, so now I got to pack a gun? I got to go kill people. I got to chase people down. I got to go sit in the weeds and watch people and stalk people and try to kill them for a street that I don't even own. Nah, I don't think I want to do this. Right? A lot of gangbangers, a lot of people in that street life go through this. They have this conversation with themselves. Believe me, they might not want to tell you, but if they will be 100, they know they had that conversation with themselves. I don't want to do this. But the environment, the gang, the people compels them to do things that they really don't want to do. And that's why I got so much respect for J. Cole, because he did everything that people thought that he wouldn't do. He said, nah, I'm cool. I love this brother. I respect him. I ain't got no ill feelings towards him. And not only that, when he hit back, if he do, I'ma turn the other cheek and I'ma let him do his thing. But he ain't gonna get no response from me. Oh, you a coward. How dare you? You don't let this type of stuff go. Come on, man. This brother right here is demonstrating love for his brother, for somebody that he admire, somebody that he respect. And we got the nerves to look down on him like he a punk, like he soft. No, we wrong for that, bro. We wrong for that because here it is. We got to understand something. Kendrick Lamar. 
It's from Compton, California. What you saying, hood educated? What that got to do with anything? Let me explain something to you. Kendrick Lamar got a whole gang behind him. Yeah. Pyrus, a whole gang. He can't control all of them. Just imagine if J. Cole said something so disrespectful that one of them gang members say, you know what? I gotta put some work in for the homeboy. I don't mm -mm, I don't like what he said. This is hypothetically speaking, but this is a possibility. And we all understand this. For an example, let me, let me how many people? How many people have Tupac Shakur killed? According to everything we know about this brother's life. Rest in peace to Tupac Shakur. How many people have he killed? None. How many people died behind Tupac's murder? You see what I'm saying now? Uh, Tupac murder kicked off a whole war. South uh, Southside Compton Crips. Mob Pyrus. Killing each other behind Tupac murder. Come on. These things happen. Why? Words. Rap beef. King Von, rest in peace to that brother. FBG Duck, rest in peace to that brother. They ain't no longer here. Words. Rap beef. Yeah, you can say the gang stuff too, but when those rap beefs, when those words got, that just turned it up. That turns it up. So we got to understand something. All that, hey man, you know, this is just competition. And I, Look, you be in competition with your ops. You don't be in competition with people that you respect and that you love. That's what people are failing to understand. The brother said that he respect uh, Kendrick Lamar. He said he loved Kendrick Lamar. So why beef with somebody that you respect and you love? There is people dying and going to prison all over America, all behind words. Rappers are dying on the daily, all behind words. And listen, I'm not talking about the battle rappers. Battle rappers, they battle, they rap, and they go home. I'm talking about beef. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these guys that are rapping over these beats, talking about what they'll do to people and stuff like that. They dying all over America. Words. We got to understand the power of words, bruh. Words can give life and words can take life. And when I see J. Cole doing what he doing, he spoke life to me. Not only that, it shows some of these young brothers that's coming up. You know what? Hey, I can get out the way. I can say, hey, man, you know what, brother? I ain't got no beef with you, man. Hey, look, I love you. I respect you, bro. Let me continue on to walk on my path. Let me continue on to get this money and create this generational wealth for my kids and my wife and my mama and all them and, and the other generations when I'm dead and gone. I ain't got no beef with you, brother. Peace. I love you. I respect you. How do you respond to that as a man if somebody humbled themselves and say that to you? Even though you puffed up. Hey, man, you know what? Hey, hey, hey I'm finna. And he's, hey, brother, you know what? I love you, bro. I respect you. I ain't got no beef with you. You my brother. I love you. How do you, you know, how do you? You just, damn, hold on, brother. All right, my fault, bro. I was tripping, man. I, I let the people get to me. My fault, bro. You know, how do you respond to something like that? You know, that kills everything. That throws water on the fire. Because here it is. You come in with, you come in with straight love. No hate. No animosity. No conflict. No competition. Love. And... That's what we need to get back to. Because here it is, everybody like this conflict, everybody like this competition, until people start dying. Then it's, oh man, they, they done, why they do that and all that. Uh, Young Dolph, rest in peace to that brother. Words. 
What done happened? He done died. And now Big Juke done died. Words. Dolph ain't killed nobody. Juke ain't killed nobody. But the words that they've been speaking. Look what it brought to him. Come on, let's. We got to be 100. This stuff dealing with words. We got to understand the power behind words. And, and I mean, and, and quit playing. And quit. I'm talking about, look, man. For this brother J. Cole to do this, man, I'm talking about, man, we should we should be championing him right now. This man should be sitting on the throne chair right now. We should be, I'm talking about throwing rose petals at his feet. Letting him drink out of gold cups for doing what he just did. Because this right here could possibly break the cycle. It could possibly. I'm not saying that it will. It can't. But I'm saying, though, it could possibly. Because here it is, we got J. Cole doing something major. Other rappers could see this and be like, you know what? That was a smart move, bro. This man right here just dodged all type of chaos, conflict, and all type of stuff. Probably saved his life. Yeah, probably saved his life. Probably saved Kendrick Lamar's life. Kendrick Lamar could have died. I mean, can be dodging all type of conflict and uh, conflict and competition because we can't say that J. Cole, just because he apologized that, you know, he a coward. He got people behind him too. You see what I'm saying? So I got to extend my honors to the brother J. Cole. I got to give it up to him for the simple fact of what he did is profound. And I hope that a lot of young brothers that's coming up in this rap game will look at this and say, you know what? The next time somebody want to beef with me and get to talking crazy and stuff like that, I'm going to do what this brother right here did. Because I guarantee y'all, right? And just look, <laughs> hood educated, listen to me. Kendrick Lamar is not finna respond with a diss song. Even after the seven minute drill. He's not. Why? Because when that brother came from the heart and said that what he what he did troubled his spirit and that he wanted people to forgive him and he wanted kid he wanna ask he wanna apologize. It ain't no knocked all the wind out of Kendrick Lamar. Ain't no I'm talking about the body blow. He damn bro like I'm trying to fight this man, right? That's just like you trying to fight somebody, and I'm talking about you in the middle of the ring. You ready to go, and this man come in the middle of the ring, and he just start praying, making a lot, praying in all type of ways. You're going to be like, hey, man, hold on. We supposed to be fighting here. This man right here. No, bro, I'm going to pray for you. Hold on. It's going to kill everything. It's going to stop the whole fight. You, how, do you, how, do you, how do you compete with that? You can't, you don't, so you leave it alone. You let the peace be still. And I believe, this is just hood educated, I believe Kendrick Lamar is not going to respond, and I believe that that would be an educated decision if he don't. For all you young brothers, for all you young rappers, learn from this. Don't let society tell you that you can't apologize. Don't let society gang in an environment that you grow, growed up in tell you that you can't empathize or sympathize or that you can't be yourself. You got to be yourself. If you're not feeling something, if something is not right, you got to be you. Don't be what society wants you to be. Be you. And if you can do that right there, I guarantee you, you're going to be all right. This is Hood Educated, not lame related. Peace and love when y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now, before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Allow me to give a shout out to Nicole Burchett for the $1.99 super thanks. Thank you. Uh, Gliss for the $2 cash app. Thank you. Jonathan for the $8 cash app. Thank you. And Edward Bernard for the $25 cash app. 
This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.